Hey y'all, I'm back at y'all today to give y'all a tutorial on how I use the baby powder as a setting powder today. And I mean, I don't think it did a terrible job, but of course you get what you pay for, but it'll definitely get the job done if you're on a budget. So, watch the video. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with my LA Pro Girl primer and you definitely want to always use a primer that way your makeup is sticking and not only that you don't really want all those products like directly on your skin you rather have primer to sit the foundation and conceal it on top of and then I'm gonna go in with my makeup forever foundation and this is in the color Y505 I'm just going to do a couple of little pumps and I usually like to use my beauty blender to blend this out but first I'm gonna go ahead and take a brush and just blend that in And it looks like I probably have to go and switch out my color. I guess since the winter is coming in, starting to change skin tones. This foundation ain't really doing it for me today. And see with me I'm so unproportional that I'm still gonna have to take my beauty blender and go ahead and even this out because you can clearly see there's a lot more foundation in certain spots <laughs> And of course your beauty blender needs to be damp. I'm just gonna tap it around and blend it in. And now after I've done that, I'm gonna go in with my LA Pro Girl Concealer in the color Fawn. And I mean, the reason I like to do it with the actual concealer stick is because you can, you know, keep squirting as much as you want. Like with this, I just rather use the applicator that comes with it. And I like that to sit just a little bit because I do have some bags. <laughs> mm-hmm. Then I'm gonna go ahead and set this with my Makeup Forever Setting Spray. Then I'm gonna take my damp beauty blender and use the top part of it and just start blending it out. And with blending, of course, you just want to really be doing like a tapping motion. And when you get in under your eyes, you want to kind of look up so you get directly under it. And you don't want to be smearing it. You definitely want to be patting the beauty blender. If you smear it, then you're going to have streaks and you don't want that. You want your concealer to look very blended. 
you can take as much time as you want with this part since it's so important. told y'all before today I'm gonna try this whole little using baby powder to set your face like I mean baby powder is only like a dollar so what do I have to lose so I'm gonna be kind of heavy with it just so I can you know really get the full effect and tell y'all what I really think I've never heard of this until I seen some YouTube videos so I mean hey let's try it out And of course, I'm very heavy handed. Gosh, that's a lot. One thing about um, baby powder though, this thing feels so good. Oh my gosh. This is becoming a mess. Alrighty. <laughs> when I say this baby powder smells so good, oh my gosh, this smells good. this sit and while we're doing that we will go ahead into our contour and I like to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills medium to tan contour kit and this brush well I use different brushes but we're gonna use this brush today and excuse my breakout I've been trying out different face washes and as you can see the one I'm currently using it's not good for me I'm just so heavy handed today Lord. and I know some of y'all like I didn't use a liquid contour but I don't really care for it too much like I like my contour to kind of look natural and I feel like sometimes when you use liquid like you just it just gets to be too much but like I said that's just me like one thing you have to learn about makeup is things that work for me might not necessarily work for you especially because we're all different skin tones and you know everything like makeup is all about trial and error so like for me I don't really like the liquid anymore so <laughs> I don't know why I took that pause like that we all know the nose is a make or break. And I feel like I've been baking long enough. Yeah, so I'm gonna just use this Revlon brush and brush this powder off. Wait a minute. That actually don't look too bad. You always want to use your beauty blender in the direction of where your makeup is going. So for example, when you're doing your contour, you want to use the beauty blender in an outward motion and then up towards your cheekbone. And then after this step, I pretty much like to go in. <sighs> Now 
now we're gonna do some blush and I'm gonna just use this little pink eyeshadow from Sephora I don't know like sometimes I feel like if the eyeshadow is pigmented or not and you could just use it for blush I mean makeup is very 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 expensive and it's like yeah you might find products you know for a cheap price but I feel like if you have the opportunity to save some money save some money then I guess I'll go in with some highlighter from my glow kit and honestly I haven't really been feeling this glow kit as much anymore like because sometimes with some of these shades it starts to look a little what's the word powdery and I know it's a powder but I mean like it doesn't look as shiny unless you're using like the brighter colors and then it's just like and then it becomes an overload so that can be really annoying so I didn't realize that the camera wasn't recording but anywho I went in with um max velvet teddy lipstick and now I'm gonna go in with the butter gloss on top well yeah just a little bit because I kind of like the way this looks I'm gonna give it a little shine and then I'm just gonna give my top lip some glow might as well just give my brows a little pop while I'm at it. Okay, now I'm just gonna go back in with my eyeshadow. I'm just gonna use a dark gray. No, I think I'm gonna use black the bottom of my eyes with this brush just to give it a little pop like people always ask me to do talking videos versus voiceovers but like when you're doing stuff live and you talking live and stuff like so much to think about and to me it just makes me move like a thousand times slower because like I'm trying to concentrate on what I want to say it's just a lot but I mean if y'all want me to talk I'm gonna give the people what they want so after that I'm gonna take my casual waterline eye pencil and I always pull it down just so that I can really make sure I'm getting my waterline and not under my waterline. But I mean, in this case, it wouldn't matter anyway, just because I put black eyeshadow on there. But sometimes when you don't pull your eye down or your face down to get to your waterline, it tends to get everywhere. Or maybe that's just me, but I think that trick is just a little bit easier. And then of course, I'm gonna do some mascara at the bottom just to make that pop see like stuff like this takes concentration because it's like you don't want to mess it up and get it all over your face I think I'm satisfied with that. Yep. And I think that's all I want to do. So, as you can see, the powder wasn't all that, but I mean, it definitely got the job done. Like, it's a natural look. Like I said, that big powder ain't cost me nothing. So I'm just going to go ahead and set my face and that's it. I hope you guys liked it.